Hey, Coach, how you doing? Doing good. How about yourself? I'm good. Uh, Coach Dillingham and Coach Norvell have talked the last couple of weeks about how much further along the quarterbacks are in terms of knowledge of the offense and getting a comfort level compared to where they were this time a year ago. Uh, how have you seen that from, from your receiver group, uh, especially the guys who obviously were in the program a year ago? Um, <clears throat> I think it's about the same. You know, you, you've seen uh, progress uh, in the offense um, and not necessarily just uh, the, the guys running the concept, but now they're getting more into uh, – understanding the details within the concepts and where they need to be, uh, what angle, what leverage, you know, where they're supposed to be, who are we trying to flush, who's the high low, who's the movement key for the quarterback. You know, so just having an understanding for those things uh, a little bit more helps those guys play faster um, and be where they need to be. So you, you see more of that, but we're still not where we need to be. Hey, Coach, how's it going? Going good. Good, Thank good you. to see you. Good hey, to see you. Um, I just asked Coach Norvell about some of the, the young guys that have kind of flashed in practice at your uh, position group. And he mentioned something about it, it kind of showing that they, you guys have done a good job evaluating. Do you know, I mean, pretty quick when a guy comes on that you recruited after coaching him for a few weeks, that yeah, we, we hit it with this guy, this is, this is a winner. And then also, if you can talk a little bit that these young group of players, the, the Portiers, Burrells, McLean, Williamson, those guys, kind of what do you see out of them and how, how good can they be? Um, well, you know, obviously, you know, within like this recruiting process, uh, the things that you see on film, it's been, you know, been tough, but the things that you see on film, I'm not getting a chance to really see them in person and camps and those different things, you know, so, um, just within the conversations, um, you know, with the kids, with the coaches, communicate with the coaches, not only just the coaches, but the 707s, different things like that. So then when they get in, um, the first thing you, you try to look for is like what's inside of them. You know, you, you see them, they look good, you know, tall and, you know, physique and all that stuff. I'm like, man, you know, they're working out with Coach Storms and they're in the weight room looking good. You know, like, I hope he can do the same thing on the football field. You know, so when, when you do see those movements um, in practice, the um, same things you saw in like the off-season conditioning, when you see those guys competing um, on the board drills, you know, just the physical the physicality part of it, just the toughness part, you know, like you see a Malik McLean or a Burrell, and, you know, going against, you know, a, a Gant, you know, in a, a, a competitive drill uh, and not just like one-on-one uh, catching the football. You know, it's a man against man, who's going to win? You know, and just seeing some of those different things um, within a couple of weeks, those guys just shows that, hey, coach, I got this inside of me. You know, I got a bad case of the wants. You know, I do want to compete. I do want to get better. You know, I can learn. You know, and, and then all, that's all you can ask those guys is, you know, to give me everything you got. You know, do what you're coached to do. You know, you'll be fine. You know, and, you know, like you mentioned, Malik McLean. Uh, he, he's been a bright spot, you know. Obviously, we still got some work, some work to do with him, but I mean, he did show up in this last scrimmage and, and made some plays. You know, he, he you know made some corrections from practice that he was probably you know not uh, doing the best on. You know, same was with uh, Burrell. You know, he, he's come out and made a couple of plays for us, um, having an understanding of you know splits and alignments, uh, communicating with other receivers, communicating with some of the guys that's been here already. You know, and um, that's been a bright spot in Dan uh, Contron. Um, he, he's done a, a good job of growing, just, you know, still got to give him to be consistent, you know, and, and play up to his potential, being that dog, being a bigger receiver, you know, and, and showing that play, you know, every down, you know, not just necessarily, and I'm not, maybe I'm not going against maybe the, the best of DBs that we have right now, you know, playing down to a certain level. You know, anytime you got somebody, you know, who lines up in front of you, I don't care who it is. You know, dominate them. You know, so so that's what you want to see. But those guys, have, you know, been doing good as far as the, the younger guys go. All right, next will be Antoine Staley from the Democrat. Hey, coach, you spoke on uh, Kentron. Just uh, talk about some of the stuff that he's done to improve his play because I really noticed the way he played during the scrimmage on Saturday. Yes, sir. One one thing about trying to he's caught the ball better. You know, which which has been a, a really bright spot for him. Um, you see him going up and making contested catches, compete for the ball while the ball's in the air. 
And that, that's, that's, you know, a few of the things that you really want to see uh, in him. You know, early on in the scrimmage, now he had a couple of mistakes. Now I don't know, you know, maybe nervous or, or what, but um, I like the way he responded. I think he responds to adversity better than he did before. You know, and we're just trying to get, you know, trying to be able to make um, two plays, you know, back to back. You know, and that was one of the things we challenged him on is, you know, because we need make a play and, you know, come back, maybe a missed assignment, make a play or maybe a drop ball. You know, and just in the scrimmage, he came back and he made some plays back to back. And um, that, was, that was promising to see him do that. In one of the practices we watched, um, I guess last week, there was uh, some, I don't know if it's the null drill, but it's receivers and DBs going against each other blocking, receivers blocking DBs. It seemed like Keyshawn and some of your guys were really very physical and being, you know, demonstratively physical with their blocking. Has that been a point of emphasis for that whole group? Um, and what have you seen from them? Yes, sir. And that's been an emphasis, you know, within you know, all of our skilled guys um, on the offense. You know, we've got to, you know, do a better job of blocking on the perimeter, you know, and um, competing and just, you know, playing physical. And, you know, we've seen improvement. Uh, throughout spring ball and, you know, like you said before, the different drills that we that we uh, are doing with our guys. Um, Keyshawn was, you know, one of the guys that stood out. You know, he, he's done a good job. Darian uh, Williamson, you know, he, he's done a good job also. You know, Ja'Kai Douglas, you know, you, you see those guys, you know, in there. And I also go back to Malik. You know, he really showed something in, this, in those drills that um, it's really helping us, uh, the perimeter drills, and when we get a chance to go live, against the defense, you know, in a scrimmage. I mean, those, those guys understanding where, where's my string? You know, I got to be in between the ball and the defender, you know, and the ball, and the, uh, the ball carrying the defender, you know, so just having an understanding of that, understanding that if I, I don't block, I don't play. Um, and just knowing that guys, I mean, it, it's, they're showing that they want to do it and they're, they're they've improved in that and um, still got some improvement to go, but they really enjoy it. Coach, I was curious how uh, how Jakai's kind of taken to the transition, and you know what was it? I, I imagine you and or Coach Norvell had a conversation with him. How did he kind of take lining up a wide receiver, and how's that gone so far? Well, when you talk about Jakai, you, you talk about um, a selfless young man. You know, he wants to do anything to help the team win, and, and that's what he's been doing with us to play. You know, be line up in the backfield, or line up at receiver, or line up at quarterback. It doesn't matter. You know, he, he just wants to help the team, you know, so the transition for him has been, has been really good. You know, just early on when I was recruiting him, before we were recruiting that at receiver, you know, so that that's, so for him, it still, it was fine, you know, just to be back in that receiver room, you know, he's just, still got to adjust to, you know, tempo in between plays, because now he's got to run a little further away from just going to the backfield, you know, running routes down the field and coming back and getting set, you know, so that, that adjustment, so I was like, you're not, you're not just in the backfield now, buddy. You know, you got to get out there and line up, you know, get set quickly, man, because we, we're playing with tempo, you know. But the kid, the kid's been awesome. You know, he, he's been really good in the room. You know, nobody's no egos, man. He, it's, 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 been, it's been a bright spot, you know, just to see those guys gelling together, guys challenging each other to get better. You, got, uh, you guys brought in some really experienced quality DBs, uh, via the transfer market, um, you know, this off season, what, and you already returned a lot of DBs, what, what kind of competition have they provided for the receivers and how good has that been for your group to go against the, some older guys? I mean, there's some fourth, fifth year guys on that secondary. It's been really good. And, uh, you know, we, knowing that going in and you know, I'm like, man, we're going to one-on-ones. I got some veterans over there and I got some pups. <laughs> you know, so I'm like, I don't know how this is going to look. You know, because I hadn't seen the young guys yet. I see, you know, I see them on film. I see them in the weight room and you know, off-season conditioning. But just didn't know how it was going to look uh, going in. You know, at the day one of the spring ball, I knew in shorts. You know, we have a chance. But when you put the pads on, I'm like, oh heck, I don't know what's going to happen here. But uh, just seeing those guys, you know, going against the older guys, um, you know, when they do get the chance to do it, um, it's been really good. It helps the younger guys because. When you're going against an older uh, DB and, and you're a, a young uh, receiver, you know, those not only the coach, but those DBs gonna tell you what they saw. 
you know, and, and what the kids should have done, you know, on certain routes, you know, or in the run game when they're fitting up uh, in, in the run game, blocking on the perimeter, you know. So it's now those guys are gelling together. Now not those guys, hey, you get up, let's go again, let's go against each other to help, help me and I'll help you get better, you know, bringing each other along, you know. So that's been the bright spot that those older guys uh, that's come in. And some of the guys that's been here already, you know, are, you know, critiquing the young guys, pull them to the side, even when they get beat. You know, he say, man, you got me. You know, you know so, it, so it, it's, it's been really good. It's been encouraging. Um, it hasn't been just, you know, one side of dominant. Um, it's been back and forth. You know, I thought today they did really good in one on ones and um, started off to a good start, you know, then kind of went down and came back up, you know, so just got to be consistent. Question will be Chris Dean from Hey, Coach, I was just wondering, how's Brian Robinson and Darian Williamson doing with the second spring for them? Or you know, Darian them? Williamson, you know, he, he's had some bright spots, you know, some really good moments, you know, um, not only just blocking just the physicality part of it, but he's done a really good job also. I think his lower body is getting stronger. Um, hands are getting stronger. Um, but he, he's really coming along. You know, he you know, have a, a really good uh, period in practice that he may come out and have a mistake or, you know, something that – not quite so well that he should he could do better at, but then he still comes back and he responds, you know. So I, I do like uh, the, the, the uh, direction uh, that we're headed with uh, with Darian. You know, I, I think he does have a chance, you know, and, and the kid is uh, really, really trying to study his playbook. You know, so with, with Brian Robinson, you know, just got to work on the consistency with him, you know, just kind of been up and down. I mean, really, when you think about it, I mean, this is really his first time practicing in a long time. You know, I mean, just like some of these other guys, I mean, he's still a freshman, you know. So uh, just with, with, with B-Rob, um, having an understanding and just going and, and, and play, you know, two plays at a time, three plays at a time, you know, with him. So it's, we got to get his his win back. Um, but just being out for a while uh, this, this past year, really not playing. But, you know, I, I do like B-Rob, and B-Rob has shown some bright moments. At that time, he's he shown where – you know, we got to get better at certain aspects and certain aspects. We have. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you guys.